But I remember, I remember like watching all the like red cliffs kind of come alive, and like I felt like at the time they were communicating with aliens. I was like, holy shit. Native Americans had it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> they were straight making patterns in the rocks to communicate <laughs> with aliens. This is amazing. <clears throat> it has come to my attention that a lot of you come here, watch the content, and don't subscribe. Uh, and it is that fact has been proven by those around me with a number figure of 90 percent what do you what's going on you come here every week you watch just hit subscribe that's it that's that's all we want don't be a dick just hit the button this episode is brought to you by zip picks and nicotine toothpicks Zipix brings you a totally satisfying convenient and great tasting way to curb your nicotine cravings now you can get your nicotine fix any time, and I can attest to that. I love Zipex, especially for when I'm tattooing. I don't feel the need to smoke cigarettes or hit my vape. I can just have a toothpick in and run completely through the session. I love it. Not only do they have the nicotine, but they have the caffeine and B12. I love having those options. Ditch the cigarettes, ditch the vape, get some nicotine-infused toothpicks at zipixtoothpicks.com today get 10 percent off your first order by using code unemployable or camp sucks your lungs will be glad you did you must be 21 or older to order warning nicotine is an addictive chemical zip more smoke less with zip picks nicotine toothpicks welcome back to the unemployable podcast mm -mm -mm. i am your host danny director with me, I have Landon. Say hi, Landon. Hello. Hi, Landon. Next to me is my co-host, John Nelson, and another special guest, Alex Layota. What up? Alex Toyota. Alex Crayola. They probably don't know who you are because your shirt's on, but yes, he's a regular here. Oh, Would you have done you everything? Shirt <laughs> oh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah. No. We're old school and we can all be shirtless. I feel like he can. You know, I like where Landon's himself. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all. Y'all ain't ready for this. Take our dog. shirts off. Tarp, so what if we all just took our pants off? You can never tell. It's like a news anchor. Okay. I'm always just assuming I'm not they're hanging down. pants right now. Are you really? <laughs> Damn, boy. The old Zoom meeting call. <laughs> I knew that thing was bigger, dog. Landon, tell us about yourself. Uh, I am a tattooer from Denver, Colorado. Uh, originally a uh, Florida boy. Mm. Ah. Got the hell out of here. Oh, really? Congrats. Yeah. Where where were you in Florida? Uh, Panama City Beach. Oh, I don't know where that is. That sounds it's sexy. It's Panhandle. Mm. Lower Alabama. That, that sounds where? dirty. It's dirty. Right next Ooh, to Tala Nasty? Fucking Redneck Riviera. Yeah. yeah. Did you buy that shirt there? Quite a few Confederate flags in my day. Okay. Bro, maybe okay. they're just Dukes of Hazard fans. No, I don't no, judge. I think they were racists. Were they? Oh. I mean, hey, once I you look past judge. the swastika. <laughs> <laughs> It was a peace we'll symbol. Away. That was a peace symbol. Yeah, yeah, man. Listen, the the, the cross is a torture device. We praise it. We praise him. Where are we to set it on fire? Is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a, a good podcast. This is a factory where they make those big ass crosses to burn for the clan. I don't even know <laughs> the, the, the giant candles? crosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the wood candles, right? <laughs> 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 it's really dark out. I wish we could see something. <laughs> <laughs> but I was uh, born and raised there, and then I uh, had to get the hell out of Florida. And now I'm from a series of weird events. I ended up in Denver. Mm. At, uh, what weird events? Uh, living Trina? in New York and fucking going insane from the madness of that city and the hustle and bustle. Yeah. Living in a living in a travel trailer for two years, trying to figure out where I belonged. Oh, that sounds rough. That's a sick way yeah. to describe it. Travel trailer. Anyone travel trailer. <laughs> pulled it. By I pulled it behind. Like, I lived in my <laughs> mansion on wheels. <laughs> Out of 2001 Ford Explorer, I was towing at capacity, <laughs> and that's what it's like. Driving I burned a Ford. that transmission. <laughs> I said, Fuck so it. you're in the city. Yeah, I was in the city. What what part or all over? Uh, I was in Brooklyn. Uh, like uh, I worked at in in Park Slope at Leather and X Tattoo. And then, so you born in Florida, started tattooing in Florida. Mm -hmm. 
And then how late into tattooing did you move? Uh, I want to say two years. Nice. That was a jarring experience. I showed up in New York and I was like, I'm, I'm going to do okay here. I'm yeah. going to take on the city. city. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> I got 500 I bucks city? and a dream. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, showed up and I was like, oh, fuck, I got to get good yeah. really fast <laughs> yeah. or I'm going to get chewed up. And so you got there out. and you're like, I'm bad. Really bad. <laughs> okay. It wasn't even I was bad. It was like, oh, shit. Yeah. This is unfortunate. What I'm putting on you. Did you at beings. least look like a tattooer? No. Oh. No. Did you have Confederate flags in your portfolio? That'll do uh, it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah do. I'm going to make it. Oh, he has variety. I'm going to do great out here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, like, what year is this? Like, how old were you when oh, all this was happening? God, 2012. Okay. I want to say. And, uh, yeah, that was just a, a, an interesting experience. How did you feel when you left Florida? Because I always, that's a small dream I have. And I think anyone who was born in Florida. Uh, Leaving Florida, I'd always wanted to, but I never experienced, like I expected to live in New York. At the time I was like madly in love with this modern contemporary dancer and she got into (laughs) him. He was an angel. (laughs) Um, But she got into a, she got into a dance company and, and I was like, Fuck! I never thought of it. I never thought I'd live in New York, but fuck it. Yeah. And you dance so with her? followed her. No, God, no. I'm you, a you giant follow? bumbling fuck. So we did There's that no dance way. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so you followed her there? Yeah, I followed her there. Did she know you were following her? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this car's been trailing me for six thousand miles, guys. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> uh, but so we, yeah, we had like a life there for a little while, and as things do, that ended and. I had an existential crisis and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I got to find where I actually belong and landed in Denver. But what did that process of like finding where you belong look like? Uh, 46 different cities in two years. Just driving around Mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I met Boney. And what was the first place you went out of? So you're like, we broke up. Fuck this. Life sucks. I'm leaving. No, it was. It was way sadder than that. Okay, okay. it's like uh, go on. Long story short, her her mom slowly died of uh, of a really fucked up cancer, and and it kind of fucked our like I don't know, like the dynamic. Yeah, was the a dynamic of our relationship after. shifted really hard, and yeah. it just slowly faded out, and was really sad. Damn. Yeah, and then you really, left, and then I dipped. Yeah, because I was just like, oh fuck, life is. Short and meaningless. I'm gonna figure out where I belong. Yeah, like some something has to change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what was the first state you went to? Uh, I went to San Diego for ten months, and so you were like New York, all these states. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, I was like, there. these are all flyovers. <laughs> 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 Daddy don't need to hang out with right, these poor yeah, flyovers. Yeah. No I, I thought I wanted to live in San Diego, and okay. and I got there, and I was like, these people are fickle and fucking shitty. So yeah. Uh, then I went to New Zealand for like New Zealand and Australia for a month, and you came there? back, and that's yeah, when that's I got right. the travel trailer. Was when I came back from there. Did gotcha. you like it there? I fucking loved it there. Right. Down under? No, New Zealand. Tom New Tom? Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Australia is... I think they're right next to each other. But fucking New Zealand were like the nicest English-speaking country I've ever been to. Where they're just, you know, me strangers and everybody's super kind. Yeah. Why'd you leave? I don't know. I should have stayed. Yeah. Let's go back. I'll go on this journey with you. Let's go. Yeah. You just got to point out where it is. I don't know where it is on the map. Clearly. All right, so... You know, it wasn't great. You went there. You're like, this This is better. Mm-hmm. But did that give you, like, a little hope? Uh, I don't know. It took a while to find hope. Okay. I but came it, But back. it wasn't bad. No, it was great. Okay. It was it was distracting. But you're like, all right, enough of that. I'm going back to gotta the go, States. Got to go figure out my life. Right. Yeah. This was nice, but I can't be distracted. I got yeah. to go, go focus. Yeah. And, <laughs> and are, you, are you, like, really young when this is all happening? Like, you're in, like... Like I think I was 25 or 26. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, uh, so I came back, got a travel trailer, and I think the first place I went in the travel trailer was uh, New Orleans. Okay. 
And are you tattooing the whole time? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yep. Uh, I spent like two weeks in in each place I went to and tattooed it. I like cold call shops and like, hey, look at my Instagram and if you're okay with it, I would love to. You're high. Get a tattoo there for a couple. <laughs> where most of them like, yeah, days. come, come on. Yeah, down. most most places were super receptive. Uh, there were a couple that just were too big for me to be calling, and they what were like, "No, nah, we, we're good." Uh, <laughs> they were just like heavy hitter shops gotcha. and didn't want randos cold calling to guest spot. So It'd be funny to see how many shops you could call and get in. Yeah, I, I think we can set. Do you that show up. just literally rip tats? Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I did that one on Adrian. It's just... <laughs> not bad. Dan, I mean, Dan did do the shading. Dan's starting to get upset that I'm not fucking mentioning that we collabed. <laughs> but it was definitely a collaboration. <laughs> yeah, I think I could do it. So you're, like, kind of in, like, that quarter life. Like, not only, like, what am I doing in my career, but, like, just what the fuck yeah. is going on. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, everything that you... Because you were with this girl for, like, a minute, no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, like, everything that you knew up to this point is just... Pfft, yeah. Right. So, so then it's like cool travel. So you you were in the travel trailer for you said two years. Two years. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's fucking nuts. It's weird. You yeah. Like have how to is s- that? I don't like Where'd sitting you with yourself alone. Oh, in my pants. Ah, <laughs> likely story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now for our sponsors, the depends. depends. <laughs> uh, like s- sitting, like s- doing it alone when you're like on the road alone. I feel like you you stare into a mirror of yourself and you kind of pick yeah. out the things that you resonate with that are a part of you and then sure. you see the things that you don't like about yourself and you're able to like get rid of them. I don't like that about me. I, I want to change that. What was the first thing you wanted to change? Uh, codependency. Mm-hmm. I think I relied too much on others for, for my own happiness. So how do you find that or how do you correct that behavior? I still haven't figured it out. Yeah. yeah I was going to ask you for the formula. I think it's <laughs> yeah. Becoming independent, mm-hmm. right? And like learning how to like rely on yourself. Mm-hmm. Just like that was my experience. I mean, I went through the same thing. I think it's kind of somewhat of a common story. Is, yeah. is, because like when I was younger, I thought that I was like half of a person and I had to find a significant other to be whole, right? And I think yeah. that's what's advertised. To us as kids, um, and all the stories, like and in Disney, the, yeah, yeah, and Disney, yeah, you know, even on all these like dating shows, it's like you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to find someone to be okay, right? So it's like, why wouldn't we think that? Yeah, but I remember like just like you getting crushed over and over and over and over again, and I'm like, this is a flawed fucking system, mm-hmm. you know. And I remember taking a step back and being like, man, it'd be really nice if I could just be okay, like by myself. Right? Yep. Like, this sucks. Like, how come I... It felt like once a year. It's like, I get this high, dating someone, it's fun, it's new, and then there's problems and drama, and now it's interesting, and then they leave, and now I want to kill myself, (laughs) Yeah, Dude, that was like... Unalived. What's that? I would have loved to have been unalive at that point. Oh, yeah, dude. dude. (laughs) Little side of Sue. Bro, that was like... Like, I went through that last year. Like, because I'm, I'm young. I'm 22. And, like, that oh was... Oh, my God, you're a baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little boy, dude. way older than that. Right. Thanks, Doug. You talk way wiser than it's your... But, man. <laughs> dude, like, that was, that was... You know, I'm, like, cool. I was with this girl for, like, fucking five years, bro. Like, this was, like, the high school... It's your entire with life. With every, yeah, right? Like, that's yeah. literally... That's literally Is all your I first know. No, wait. She's like, you're that looks 22. great. Want to be exactly. Yeah, I'm 22. I turned 23 this year, if that helps. Though. But I'm legal. Don't, don't even it's worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you fucking so, me up, buddy. And I'm, and I'm single. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, I, I, like, you know, thankfully I had, like, these dudes with me. But, like, she left and everything fell apart. Mm-hmm. But that was 100%, like, my, my thing was, okay, you know, with the help of these guys was, like, cool, how do I become independent? Right. Like if that was for you, like just traveling by yourself for a really long time. Like for me, it was like you get the fuck out of like the town I was in, fucking live on my own, even though like, you know, I lived with people. Right. But it's like, cool, you're you're starting to feel like an actual human, Mm -hmm. you know, bro, like that that chase of like, uh, yeah, just like being content with myself and and only me. Well, you learn to attempt to rely on yourself. Yeah. And then when it starts to work out, you build trust 
and confidence in yourself. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And it usually starts like small, but I think like traveling like you did is a great way to find independence. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I, cause there's no one to help. When you said finding trust and confidence in yourself, like I'm currently in therapy, figuring out how to trust myself again. Cause again, I'm, yeah. relied too much on somebody else for my happiness recently yeah. and that ended pretty terribly. Oh, I did it again? Uh, I did it again. <laughs> That's I what said daddy got me once. Again. <laughs> that sick love hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and then I want them to fuck my life up. <laughs> dude. And then I I I'm going to travel part. again. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Bro, when, when that shit happened to me, it was like six months after... Bro, and I got with, like, the worst person I could have ever got with. And John fucking looks at me. He's like, why are you just signing yourself up for the same fucking shit all over did, again? Did, 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 did your parents meet this girl? Uh, the one that I was. And or guy? The one that I was the, after? Yeah. Um, yeah, really briefly. Because I was like, hey, I don't live here anymore, but I'm going to go have sex with her in, in your house. I'm going to, like, rent my room Zorro for the night. Champion. <laughs> Dude, uh, it was, they Did hated they her. warn you? Did my parents warn yeah. me? No, dude. <laughs> they warned no, her. Dude. My mom, three years I was with this human. Sure. My mom goes, uh, man, sweetie, because I'm, I'm to my core a mama's boy. Me too, yeah. She's like, sweetie, we, we knew she was going to hurt you. And I was like... You knew. What the <laughs> fuck did you tell me? You shut the fuck up, mom. Like, you and need I was to like, learn. You, you have permission now to tell me if, sure. if you fucking... Get a bad feeling about a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking sick, dude. Please. God. Oh, yeah. Fuck. So I'm your sensitive little artsy boy. Please <laughs> tell me right. if I'm fucking up, mama. Dude, I traveled when I just had, was going through a, a really bad breakup, and it was terrible. Yeah. I was in Salem the entire time crying. Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a this. sad place to go, buddy. She would have loved this. She, <laughs> yeah, she would have, because she was a fucking witch. Dude, it, uh, <laughs> yeah, she was into all that kind of shit. Yeah. Bro, I went, like, day three, like, after. It was, it was something that was already mm-hmm. pre-planned. It was going to be a surprise. And I was still like, I'm going to fucking go, man. I'm going to have the best time ever get my mind off of this. It was the worst, oh, dude. So nice. I don't remember anything from that shit. Thank God I took photos. Mm. Bro, like one of the first times Danny and I met, I think uh, I was tattooing you. You were a client still. And then you were like, I was like, hey, like what's been going on? And I remember you were making a lot of dark jokes. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. You know? <laughs> and then uh, I was like, this is going to be a good session. And you said something along the lines of like, I, I was like, you, you're like, I've been going through some tough times. Um, and I'm like, yeah, like what's going on? Like we're already joking. I feel like there's a vibe. Uh, and he's like, well, you know, it's kind of like a long, like, sad story. I'm like, all right. He's like, spoiler alert, my fiance left me. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a free <laughs> Such a Danny fucking thing, dude. Yeah. It's I didn't so want to think she was going to die at the end of the story. Yeah. <laughs> I just let you know right now she left me at the altar. <laughs> And then we talked about that weird haunted doll. Yeah. You remember? Robert the doll. <laughs> Do you know about Robert the doll? No, dude. Do you think it's beautiful, though, that you can, you like, in that period, did you think you'd be sitting right here laughing about that experience? It was really hard, and I tried this new method that was, like, reading, and I had to, like, go back to all these YouTube videos. Wait, reading? Yeah. Like, you learned to read? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was trying, trying to learn by reading. It's a four or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I, I cannot read at a sixth grade. This, uh, the no contact rule, which is pretty much you disappear off social yep. media, you don't yeah. reach out, and you leave yourself in mystery. You go into the shadows. First, it, you, it, it's kind of for for them. You're you're in hoping that they're wondering what you're doing. So like, oh, but maybe they'll not. reach out. They're not. And the videos I watch, like they're like, oh, normally <laughs> after 90 days. It's been like, on eight years. You said you're out. out. <laughs> what do you mean she's not fucking with <laughs> Hey, Uh-oh. fuck you, man. <laughs> so, so, bro, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go into the shadows. I got off social media. I lost like 70 pounds. And like after month three, I'm like, all right, she's like, I'm back. But I feel good about myself. Yeah. And now I can reemerge the best me, which exactly what happened. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Hey, oh, Dude, Danny up. fucking, Ooh. Danny saved my life with that shit. Because when it happened, bro, when it That's happened. That's sick. Are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Are you going through that right now? 100%. Yeah. yeah? Oh, whoa. Yeah. Can we talk about it? We can. You don't want to have a therapy Dude, I'm kind of yeah, jealous. Yeah. I miss that now. No, you don't. Therapy I, I, this is actually for myself. I miss is, it for myself. I'm, I'm proud of myself for like going about it this time in a really like healthy way. 
And yeah. you're learned. taking what you learned from last yeah. time and applying it. And like, I like a week later, I was in therapy and like, nice. I'm not coping well. Let's <laughs> talk about this because yeah. daddy wants to die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no, it's been, it's been four months okay. now. So Are you, and you're doing no contact with this one? Yeah. Mm. Nice. How long were you guys together? Three years. Mm. It's enough yeah. to hurt. Oh, it was That's brutal. Cut deep. Yeah. I said, shit. I think <laughs> that one was out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> my life is changed. I woke up one day. I was like, oh, shit. My life is completely different. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Her shit's gone. So where did you land eventually? Uh, so after traveling, I, I um, fell in love with Denver, Colorado, and uh, moved Georgia. to there. And she broke my heart, Denver, Colorado. It's a um, country song right there. <laughs> God damn. So that's home that's base. That's home base, yeah. Gotcha. And is this where you met the person? Yeah. Mm-hmm. During the COVID. Mm. The Chernavirus. <laughs> <laughs> During that fucking cum flu, dude. Fuck. Chern- you should come back to Florida, Chern- man. Huh? You should come back to Florida. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I should not come Was back to Florida. Was shit shut down over there? Hmm? Was shit shut down over there? I mean. You know, like, I guess I'll find a person. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when Disney Fucking shuts down, the world is down. The shit yes. was done. Do you th- do you see any flaws in the early stages of of, of COVID or uh, the relationship? <laughs> Let me talk about yeah, it. Let me talk states, about yes. COVID and all the dumb shit. Uh, uh, yeah, there was a lot of there was a so when uh, like what was it BoJack Horseman? Uh, every uh, every red flag. Is is a just a neutral colored flag when you have rose colored glasses on? That's mm. beautiful. So I was like, poetic. I was just like, God, you know, so all these all these red flags, <laughs> I'm just ignoring the fuck out of because yeah. I feel good right now. What was the first red flag? <laughs> uh, that bad, huh? <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I might have gotten chlamydia. I don't know. Oh, so there's a way to check for that, you know? <laughs> huh? You can check for that. Yeah, I know. It just smelled funny right after it was nah, a little weird. I sent burn. It to 23 and me. <laughs> <laughs> so right off, what? It first, goes back. First, uh, first date, you got chlamydia. Uh, third. Okay, that was a red flag. That was the first one. That was the first red. Did flag. you tell her about it? This is weird. No, she told me about it. She's like, oh, you after the got third it. time, you got it now. <laughs> I can <laughs> fix her. I can fix her. <laughs> I can fix me. <laughs> now you can never go. There's something wrong with me, and I deserve this. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, now I, the curse now belongs you to you. <laughs> Did you say pass it on? <laughs> <laughs> Pay it forward, dude. <laughs> Uh, double in pass it to the next person, please. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're it. <laughs> when did she break it to you? Like after like sex number three? She's like, oh, I forgot to mention this. Yeah, well, I mean, we had like uh, planned to get, get tested so we could have unprotected sex. And then I got my test results back and I was good to go. And she hadn't. And I was like, ah, I trust you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then like trust a day wise. later. Shame on me. Yeah. Well, I don't know if this is something you want to talk about, but you said something very interesting last night mm. about your trips, mm. DMT trips. Yes. And why you do it to like kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll let you explain. Do you want to go through it? Like, uh, So DMT and mushrooms are sort of ways for me to uh, kind of step outside of the, the uh, I fucking hate the word ego because there is no killing the ego. Everybody talks about it. Like you can ego death. Yeah. It's like, no, you, you, you talk about it. You're immediately, you're reinviting the ego yeah. and you fucking tarred. Um, but there's something about stepping outside of yourself and looking at the minuscule problems that are around you and being like, Oh fuck, life is beautiful. Like being able to even experience sadness and anger is fucking dope. And yeah. Yeah, that's why I use psychedelics. Do you, did you? Sorry. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when was your first experience with psychedelics? Um, I think I started using mushrooms like properly in like my mid twenties. Was it like first recreational, have fun, get high? I just wanted to try it. I didn't yeah. really understand what it was, but I, heard I knew you say it was properly. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. the The first time I, I didn't do enough, I was like, I think I was like 
20 and I ate like cow shit mushrooms in Florida and uh. that didn't, that just made my tummy hurt. <laughs> wasn't good? <laughs> no, no trip? It wasn't. I hear yeah. it tastes like shit. Yeah. And it wasn't a good time. Um, and then, uh, in my mid twenties, I like took a hero dose and cried and laughed and I was like, Oh, I get it. This is why this is like a medicine to people. Yeah. What did you experience your first time? Uh, I was I was naked in a river in Moab, and I ripped DMT really hard. And you're naked first, yeah, like soberly, with like naked? A, yeah, with a group of um, like <coughs> birthday uh, suit. You're being yeah. reborn, baby. I get it. It was like a guided yeah. experience with oh, okay. some hippie like, dippies. All right, everyone get naked. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I'll be naked. Why are you not naked, sir? River turns into like a white water. It's um, cold. <laughs> The river's cold. <laughs> it's 90 degree summer. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember, I remember like watching all the like red cliffs kind of come alive. And like, I, I felt like at the time they were communicating with aliens. I was like, holy shit. Native Americans had it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> they were straight making patterns in the rocks to communicate <laughs> with aliens. This is amazing. Checks was it, out. It was DMT? Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was short. It was short. Yeah. It's like, what, seven minutes, you said? Yeah, uh, seven to 15. It just depends. Like, like I'm going right back, guys. How, how Do you gain a tolerance for it? Oh, as you're using it, yeah. Yeah? Mm. But, like, you, it's always different. Yeah, John wants me to do ayahuasca, and he wants a trick. Oh, man, I want to do that really bad. You want to do it together? Because yeah, I don't trust Dan I, I bet that's, like, a long... I know trip. it's like the build up too. You have to like completely like, like cleanse yourself mm-hmm. and like be at peace with your mind. I feel like how do you be I feel like, like that would be you would probably gain a lot from that. You're of, like you seem like a wise human. Thank you. You hear that? Wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> you should do it. I know, but I get really scared. Not that my mind is a dark place, but dude, I smoke weed and I freak out. Like I'm like I do too. Yeah, but oh. I think it's okay to freak out. Yeah, but not when you're freaking out. What? <laughs> I, I, no, never, I never get to the end of the trip where I'm like, that was great. I, I'm, I freaked out, but that was great. Yeah, so but you could. When, put, like when you're like in the freak out, I think if you recognize that it, it's just part of the process. I have do. You ever, have you ever gone through that? Through DMT or anything? Yeah. Mm-mm. Or a bad trip? Nope. I've gone through a bad trip, like, on oh. acid and, like, fucking did not like it and was just praying for it to go away. I've never done acid. Yeah, I never experimented with like, um, cause I when when it, before I got clean, I really really wanted to uh, at some point in my life like uh, trip DMT or do like uh, like mushrooms or like anything that was supposed to cure or not cure but like aid with, cause I've struggled with depression and like suicidal thoughts like my whole life, and um, I always wanted to, so I did, like, some, like, mild surface-level research on things and, like, watched. Uh, that's what I was going to ask if, like, you did it with, like, guides and you did it with, like, mm. a group of people. Shamans. Um, but, yeah, no, I've, ne- I've never done it. Never done it. Now I can't. So. We do it with Danny. I, get, can like, you get a pass? What? You get a hall pass? Me? If I can, if I can no. no I'll, I w- I'll guide you through it. We'll do, like, sounds and stuff. No, and John's like, going to go, nightmare, nightmare. I'm going to be like, wait, how much did you take? <laughs> You're going to die. Dude, this is bad. Dude, this dude, is bad. Please remember to breathe. Why are you not breathing? I'm getting out of here. <laughs> You're, You're freaking me out. You're going to be alone forever. <laughs> Just there, like. <laughs> no, no, that would, that'd be fucking horrible. Just start banging on stuff. <laughs> 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 Dan's laughing. Yeah, no, fuck that. I think it's, uh, I think it's r- for people that can handle that can handle it uh, properly. I think it's a really fucking cool thing. And I was we like reading here. I, I was reading longer. something that like worse. people are starting <laughs> to map, like they're starting like map out that realm. Mm. Um, because like people are seeing like the, the same things and like very oh, yeah. similar objects or, or whatever it is that that's there and like they're starting to like map it as like another dimension I didn't know that. that's which cool. i think is fucking i do think it's sick. fascinating that people inter- in, like interact with it in similar ways yeah, yeah. imagine john tripping is just on google map but i i think um, like me myself i feel like i'm very capable of doing it and like i mm. again i Nothing ever clouds my mind. I'm not stressed, not depressed. 
but it's just I think back to every time I smoke weed, and I've done it everywhere, and every mm-hmm. strand, every location yeah. with everybody. It's just my body reacts weird to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's the good side is that you know I see people who depend on it or like have mm. to do it throughout the day. So that's cool. So I mean, we'll start with DMT. Yeah. <laughs> right? We'll just r- rocket you into outer space. And I do yeah. it today. And if I freak out, can I go home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah for like seven minutes and, and then come back and be normal. Should we do it on seven, Patreon? Seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. Dan said, yeah, that's all. He's I on <laughs> DMT right now. Look at him. <laughs> who has, who has DMT right now? I'll do it. Don't point. Yeah. So <laughs> tattoos, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it out. Prayer. God, <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, <laughs> I haven't prayed in a while. Do I pray? You can pray. Okay. You can. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody, okay. around. Dear Lord, I would like. <laughs> Guys, it's serious. It's a great podcast. You have blessed us with so many joys in our life. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me and my friends to come and talk shit and. Mm. 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 I know. Amen. Praise him. Wait, hold on. I ain't done yet. Yes, Lord. <laughs> mm. Say that. Yeah. Just, <laughs> Lord Jesus, I just hope you protect our boy Landon. Praise be. Put your armor on his body. Praise, Praise be, Lord. It? That's not, I'm not doing this. Close racist. your eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> and also be with you. Love you. Bye. Are you tired of using ink bottles that are spelled correctly? Do you find yourself texting? during ad reads for companies? Well, I do, and that's why I use Allegory Black. Are you tired of your black arms looking blue? Do you suck at tattooing and you wanna get better? Use Allegory Black. Allegory has normal black and ultra black. Just when you thought it couldn't get any darker, they put out ultra black. Use Allegory Ink. It's the best ink on the planet. Go to allegoryinc.com discount code unemployable for 20 percent off i know it's crazy it's so much money you really should pay full price but we have a discount code right alex that's right all right model citizen used to be cool before alex started wearing it are you tired of being unattractive to everyone around you well not anymore with the model citizen apparel you'll be beating them off with a stick Finally, tattoo clothing that is actual quality, that I can wear around and feel good. For real though, the quality of these clothes is top notch. This is like nothing you've ever seen before with a tattoo company. This isn't some Gildan bullshit. These are quality hand-picked clothing. They have everything from vintage styles, oversized clothes, modern tees. Go to themodelcitizen.com, get them, Before Alex does. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good good night. (laughs) Wherever you are in the world. I'm going to turn off the metronome. Um. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah, dude. We make music now. Yo, sure throw me a pack of those fucking nicotine toothpicks. This is Zipix. I hate that I love these things so much. Dude, you, on, I'm not going to lie, though. You look so cool with the toothpick in your mouth. What's that? Like, when I put a toothpick in my mouth, I immediately feel ten times cooler. You like Alex's hat? <sighs> Go down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Charlie! Did you Dude, what a great, what a great little thing that was! Oh no, Charlie! Charlie the unicorn. Did you go out last night? Did I go out? Yeah. With everybody? Yeah. No. Where did you go? I went to here now, and had a bottle of San Pellegrino. <laughs> but here's the thing, dude. Remember when you were like, I was like, because uh, I saw that uh, that girl was there. And I was talking to her, and I was like, dude, what I'm... Girl? What girl? The, uh... Mexican girl? Yeah, the Mexican girl. My mom. And, uh... interested in sexually? Danny's, Danny's cousin was there, and, and I was like... T- I was <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I was like, you know what, dude? I was like, I'm not in, like, a good mood. She was like, why? What's wrong? And I was like, 
Dude, honestly, and it was so nice venting to someone who has no idea who yeah, she worked there. What? Yeah. <laughs> who like has no idea really who anybody is and like like in my life like who anybody is. I'm like, "Ah. Oh. Are we the problem?" No, not you guys. <laughs> just no, like just other shit that's just like <laughs> going on. Yeah, everybody, yeah. And I was just like, this I was like, this is this is what's wrong. Dude, he lives in a three bedroom apartment. Four people, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it five? I don't really know. Last night it was five. <laughs> so five, five people and five cats. Damn. Yeah. And it's just one what do you of like better, one the of those three the bedrooms that like the living room's in the middle and all the bedrooms are attached. It's not like a big no. three bedroom. I mean, one of the rooms is the cat shit room, so it's really a two bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the cat shit the cat shit room is now the living room. It's terrible. It's back the first to, thing it's you do is you walk in and you smell that shit. Well, here's the th it depends if it's being cleaned or not. Well, here's the thing. Look, number one, I'm, I'm very it's be it's better than halfway, and I'm very very grateful for it. Um, but the, <laughs> the it's it's are you though grateful for it? Yeah, it's, it's better than halfway. For it? I'm very listen. Grapefruit's my favorite fruit. You know, <laughs> I like to. To eat it, a little sugar on have top. Have you seen those uh, weird saw spoons for grapefruit? Yeah, I have. Those are pretty cool. The ones I, that look like little miniature saws. Yeah, they're like they're like little. You could just and then scoop it out and eat it. Have you seen it? It's like a spork, pretty much. Dude, <laughs> it's it's a, it's get it on Amazon. It's a sp it's a knife this. and a spoon that had a baby. Yeah. Something it's I didn't a need. Buzz I saw fork. It <laughs> it's a sawzall blade. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a sawzall. Saw. Do you really eat grapefruit with sawzall? Bro, dude, I mean, listen, bro. I've ever eaten a grapefruit. Bro, my fucking bro, if you roommate. Put sugar on them, they're fire. Dude, I mean, if you put that sugar works on anything, anything bro. <laughs> no, but grapefruit with like, bro. If you put uh, the way I I like putting brown sugar on it because it's just it like gives texture. Uh, bro, if you torch a grapefruit, like if you torch it, uh, I with sugar on torture. it. Torture. <laughs> Tell me what you know. Know. Give me the Tell sugar me grapefruit. Where's the orange? <laughs> Waterboarding it. <gasps> no, bro, but you just said Timu, bro. My roommate in Halfway. Bro, this guy was like in his late 50s. He's so funny because like right before I left, uh, I was like, hey, man, like, do you still go to like meetings? Like, I, that's where you'll always see me because I, I fucked with him. He was like, Pfft. Nah, man, I still have a drink every now and then. I was like, you know what? But, uh, bro, this guy, bro, I remember I came home one day. There was like fucking 10 packages for my roommate. And I was like, what is going on? I was like, dude, what did you, what did you get? He was like, I found this new thing called Timu. Damn, he you ever heard like of it? Millionaire. And I was like, no, what is that? He's like, download it on your phone. They gave you five free things to start. <laughs> I can't do it. I've done the wheel. Yeah, it goes 100%. Dude, I got like five. Times three. Yeah, bro. I got like five free things. And like before I ordered it, I had this like moment of like what it, it is. I was like, bro, I don't need any of this. Like what, what am I doing? Bro, dude, there was like fucking knockoff Ray Bans. There was fucking AirPods. There was Doesn't like Alibaba on that. Well, yeah, it's like it's like so Alibaba's like the wholesale, and then Timu's like the the store. Like yeah. if that makes sense, yeah, the retail. Trust that the, re shit. the retail is the word. It's it blows my mind that they actually have like a spot in the Super Bowl commercials when it's clearly something that is a scam. Bro, they played their ad like three times, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a scam? Get his fucking uh, yeah, dude. They're like a little knockoff stuff. Dude, My friend orders a switch from there. I think I think what I don't think it's a trust me. They're profiting. <laughs> I think what it is more than anything is like they're just gonna. It's just okay. We're gonna steal all your information and like data and sell it. But uh, it's not stealing if you type it in. Yeah, exactly. Like, bro, <laughs> Ch dude, I realized. <laughs> So when we started the whole model citizen thing and like the whole Alibaba accounts in my name, <laughs> and then it's also like John's address and like my phone number, and I was like, "Damn, dude, they got all our shit right now." Bro. Everyone does, dude. Yeah. I kind of fuck with China though, man. Like I'm cool with them having my shit, man. Power to the people. Who don't dog. you fuck with? Go ahead. I listen. I love everybody equally. You know, <laughs> you what made I'm a point to say I fucks with China. Who yeah, I fuck with China. Who don't you fuck? Taiwan. With? <laughs> bro if i put a map out would you know where to point for taiwan no dude what the fuck i don't, get that. I don't care about like, that right, place that's florida i just <laughs> <laughs> this Sir, is that's, American map that's haiti <laughs> bro last night i was on google maps why 
Because uh, like Google Earth, what? Like the Earth one or just no, the map? Just the map. It was flat. <laughs> and uh, it was like my friend, you know, was saying that they were from Finland, and I was like, where the fuck's Finland? Like I'm bad at <laughs> Helsinki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, I knew it. Like I knew generally where it was. <laughs> just, it's on the right side of the map. <laughs> Yeah, I use my phone as a tool. Bro, bro. You would, based on this story, you would think, like, I was stoned. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where's Finland, dude? Right, so then I'm like, well, I'm here. <laughs> Wait, let me window like, shop. Yeah, you boys, like, you boys trapped. And then, like. Yeah, well, I'm a culture man. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, I'm like, damn, that's high up. That shit, it's cold up there, right? Bro, and then I, I put go, a jacket on. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Bro, so then, like, then you know how there's like all the different maps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like Pangea and shit. No, no, no. Uh, like, US will see a different map. Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. Europe. And yeah. What, what do you think Google is? You think it's the most accurate one? I, I Does that so. make sense? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, because, like, a lot of times, like, our old, like, USA maps, like, U.S. looks way bigger. So actually, <laughs> <laughs> you know? There's actually uh, bro, just so slap anyway, beef with us. Look so, how much they conquered. Bro, so I'm on there, and I'm like, God damn, Russia's big. Bro. <laughs> right? Been walking bro, for it's two huge. hours. Bro, it's crazy, <laughs> Bro, you know what's insane about Russia? They Ru always made it look small. <laughs> what's nuts about Russia, though, is this, like, fucking... Only a little bit is like populated. The rest of it's just wilderness. Bro, bro. So that's I was like, you know, your boy's a thinker, right? So I was like, well, it's pro you got <laughs> probably because then I'm, now I'm looking at populations, right? Sure, sure, sure. Bro, and, dude, went down the fucking rabbit hole. And I'm like, oh yeah, like they probably can't live like in any of the northern sections. So sure. I'm zooming in. There's like no towns. Zoom out. Zooming in, no towns or cities. So then I'm like over there and I see like Ukraine, right? Sure. Compared to Russia. And I'm like, damn, bro. They really need that little space. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey, the man. Florida. <laughs> bro, John's going to go to fucking Russia and be like, Guys, listen. This war is you, silly. You guys have Google Maps? <laughs> <laughs> Look at how fucking big your space is, man. Right. This is unfair. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, so you're pro-Ukraine is what you're saying. No, but I, I understand both sides. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm a world traveler. Dude, that's a good metaphor for perspective, dude. I like that, man. <laughs> yeah. That's good, dude. So anyway, I saw the war last night. <laughs> Bro, they speak the same language. Just talk it out, dog. That's what I'm saying, dog. I can understand if you don't speak the same language. I would, I'd be on the front lines. Like, no wonder everyone was mad at Germany. They didn't understand them. And they sound mean, bro. Dude, they sound so mean, bro. Like, Hitler was a nice guy. <laughs> All right. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what I want to do on Google Maps? <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the middle of a field and lay down face down. So when oh, someone like tries to report a body, <laughs> you never seen those articles? Oh, bro, dude, this person found by Google yeah, Maps. dude. Oh, yeah, like people finding stuff. Yeah, on but it's Earth. just me, bro. Oh, have you fucking? Yeah, dude, but there's like the <laughs> that's fucking... what you do. Yeah, that's, I'm an explorer, <laughs> bro. Now. You need to start playing that fucking game, dude. There's this guy on YouTube. There's like an actual game on Google Earth. Uh, it's like, um. To where they'll like be super zoomed in on like a road and you just see like the guardrails and then people and then the game is like guess where you are. It's like geo Sounds fucking something. Stupid. Bro, but it's an actual thing, dude. That's and there's this guy on like he's like a pretty big following. I forget his name. But he's on like YouTube and TikTok and everything, and he's fucking nasty. Bro, you like he sees one guardrail and one tree, he's like, Oh, I'm right here. <laughs> and then, like, bro, and there's competitions for the shit, dude. It's like a competitive game, bro. Damn, bro. That's when you run out of games. What's up, sir? What's up? Do you want to get Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's actually one right there. Landon, you want to hang out? <laughs> Sorry, you have to stare at me. <laughs> right, we are. On, we'll just fin we're going to finish this episode. We just started this <laughs> since we're running the, late. The and then we'll come right into yours. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Google Earth is sick. Bro, I'm a world traveler. You, don't you are, man. You're a cultured man. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't have my passport. Where else? So where else did you visit far. last night? China. Nice. How was that, bro? And I was like, what's the one in between? China and Russia, Taiwan. Yeah, I'm like that thing's fucking huge, bro. Well, that's the that's the place. If I'm uh, not mistaken, that's bro, the place Saudi that they Arabia want. Saudi Arabia is fucking big too. Yeah, it's a desert, bro. I'm just saying, it's huge. You don't fucking know. You're right. I'm not bro, a world traveler shit. like you. And then <laughs> <laughs> my phone then, doesn't zoom in that far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, I didn't know that k- the Koreas were on the water. I, they were yeah. beachfront, dude. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They're really close to Japan. So what do you think? Okay, so, well, okay. Well, let's talk about this, right? I'll be honest. I could go the rest of my life not knowing where any countries are and be fine. Sure. No, I agree. I made it this far. But here's here's the thing, man, right? I think what you, what you, I think what you got last night is something that not a lot of people got, right? Which is traveling the world. I own 14 Max. Yeah. And, um... You know, so now that you've settled the conflict in Russia and Ukraine, Fine first class. what do you <laughs> what do you think about the rest of the world's conflicts? Did you visit uh, Israel at all? Uh, I was looking for it, but then I remembered it's not a real country. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Free Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine John's big smoke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, wait, you know, because I was sitting Where next Where is to, this fantasy lab? <laughs> dude, I was sitting next to Dev, and I was like, oh, I got you. <laughs> I know you, I know what you want to see, you know? The Holy Land. Yeah. So is that what you got stuck doing all night? Because I got sucked into something, too. No, Dev, like, <sighs> Dev doesn't do any social media, but then right before bed, she'll do, like, a half hour of... Like, like the videos, the reels and stuff. Yeah. But she likes um, Facebook reels, which is like <laughs> it's a little feel safe there. Your family's there, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no but yeah, she don't do no. So, like once in a while, she'll like do something. But honestly, it just makes our relationship better when she doesn't have it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's a good plan. God, you guys are so. What did uh, What did you get sucked into last night? <sighs> so I saw like someone put a post like, "Oh my god, I can't believe this happened." Rest in peace, this person. Rip. Yeah. Rip. And of course, I had to find out how he died. Oh, is it he? Did they Bro, Photoshop I went... the wings on? Them? No, no, unfortunately, it didn't. I wish just people were more up there to have him like that. Bro, I'll go to every comment, every comment in a comment. I'll go to their page to yeah. see if they wrote anything. Sure. Dude, Bro, I was up all night. You die. Sure. Yeah. Hopefully before me. And <laughs> they have. <laughs> Photos <laughs> of like your wake. Yeah, I'm gonna Photoshop the shit out of them, make you look fat. Well, here's no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I want my photos photoshopped. Like I want. Well, the the big thing that I, I, told I want, Alex, if I'm the first one to find his body, I'm hanging him on a doorknob and making it look like he was <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> Dude, bro, I don't even. And know then how, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> and when people come in, I'm gonna be like, don't look. <laughs> We came to this conversation, dude, but John looked at me and he was like, bro, if I found your lifeless body, he's like, I'd be sad. I've, I'd go through the motions. But if me and Chris obviously have to drag your body <laughs> somewhere, I'm like, why do you have to the cat litter? Why do you have to drag my body? He's like, if your head hit something, I would cry laughing. <laughs> I was like, it's just like, <laughs> dunk. <laughs> I would stop. Look at Chris. And smile. <laughs> dude, I fucking hope I die naked, dude. What? I You're going to get I naked regardless. Naked. Remember I told you that guy? Like, if I'm about to get shot, I'll be like, sir, please. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Just get butt-ass naked and be like, all right, now, He runs dude. off, you're like, fuck. Just yeah, bro, I, but dude, come on. like, if I kill myself, bro, what? You better be naked. No, I'm going to kill myself naked, dog. Yeah, I'm going to leak him. Why bro, am I going to kill myself with clothes? <laughs> I will laugh. I'll be like, you're just, weak. <laughs> just understand, I'm not going to be vague Life when I post my life. for the weak mind. <laughs> Dude, I, that's like a for, a for real dream of mine, though. Like, I think. Die? No, the way I want to die is like, the way, this is the way I envision it. Like, all my friends are dead. John said you're dead. Everybody's dead. If you're I, watching this, I've, I'm already dead. I have somehow, I have somehow outlived everybody. Not gonna happen. And what? I, yeah, like no shot. No like shot. Yeah, but like, not really. I just, I just somehow just lived, right? Okay. No apocalypse shit. You guys just died. 
and um, we were all on one car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you guys die at like forty. Yeah, yeah. but like you guys die of like a massive heart attack or something. It's weird. Incident. I'm like, what? And I and so what I do is I pack my I, I don't pack my car. I'm sorry. I just get in my car and I drive. I drive to like I drive to like fucking Utah. Like drive to like the desert. And I'm on like a road, and then I just go onto the sand. And I drive as far as I can get on the desert. And the second my car breaks down, I'm like, this is it. This is it. What'd you pack in your car? He's like, this is the spot. Not Like beef jerky. (laughs) 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 Bro, I like throw a tumbleweed. (laughs) You kick it. (laughs) (laughs) Start off by eating lizards. (laughs) (laughs) Do it again, do it again. (laughs) Tat Toolkit. You guys need to check this out. If you want to improve your digital designs and increase your tattoo productivity, then this is the site for you. Tat Toolkit offers digital designs, stamps, reference pictures, stencils, brush sets, and so much more. Whether you're just starting out or you've been in the industry your whole life, these tools will benefit you. What I love about Tat Toolkit is we're constantly working with new artists to really build an online community. You will get an inside look at the design process for each artist we work with. Tat Toolkit will offer everything from the tools these artists are using, the designs they're creating, online seminars, merch, and more. This is a great place to interact and connect directly with the best artists in the industry. You guys need to check this out at tattoolkit.com. And don't forget to use code CAMSUCKS for 10% off. You know how What's I off? don't want to die? Huh? Crawling in a cave <sighs> with my brother. That's oddly what, specific. What? Go on. Did you hear about the little girl that died in the sand hole on the beach here? Here? Yeah. She like suffocated to death? Yeah. What I, the I think fuck? like adult, I don't know the story, I mean, but this is what I'm assuming happened. Like adults or someone dug a huge hole in the beach for fun okay and then you know the next morning they plowed through because they were calling it a sinkhole but i don't think it was a sinkhole and anyway like somehow she fell in her and her little brother they were able to save the brother no lifeguards on the beach nothing but oh so they noticed this is lauderdale by the sea holy shit what you dug no, that it was just, no, it was just it was me. No, it was just here. I thought that this was like the, in some yeah. far distant yeah, land. And the mayor got on, and and now they're talking about banning um, holes. holes on the beach. Damn, Damn bro. I didn't even know that was a thing. So you didn't do that as a kid. No, I built fucking sandcastles. Dude, I was bro. digging holes, bro. Me I'd always too, dig bro. my friends. You up did to that their too, head. right? Yeah, I was eating sploosh. <laughs> bro. bro. <laughs> I'd bury my boys to the neck and then wait for high tide. dude. I was out with zero, my boy zero. Bro, we were eating bro, we were eating onions in the fucking creek, dog. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I re I recently rewatched I don't that movie. Smell anything. <laughs> bro, you gotta t- <laughs> 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 That's the end of the movie. Guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. I know we joke around a lot and get wild on some topics. But one topic I take very serious is addiction. If you or anyone you know is struggling, don't be afraid to reach out and get the help you need.